In Photoshop, go to File, Export, Export As, and in the left side, select all the sizes you want to export your photo in, then click on Export, choose a folder, and you're done. This quick tip tutorial is brought to you by Restream. Use Restream to maximize your reach when live streaming online by live streaming to multiple live streaming services at once. Use the link in the description down below to get a $10 Restream discount. Hey there, I'm Green, this is Greenbox. In this quick tip tutorial, I show you how to export a photo in Photoshop at multiple sizes at the same time. So let's jump into my computer. To show you what this multiple sizes at once is all about, I want to show you how I worked until I learned this method. So this is a photo I created for my web shop where I launched a new calendar. And when I upload photos to my web shop, I upload them in three different sizes. I upload them in the original format. I upload it in 50% the size, which I use if you're on a mobile phone or like on a low resolution display. And I upload it in twice the size, for high resolution displays. And the way I did this so far was when I had this photo, I simply went to image, size, went to percentage, then said, okay, I need it in 50% the size. So I type in 50, hit okay, go to file, go to save a copy and then save it. And while this isn't a problem, if you have just one photo, if you have like 12 photos, this gets quite time intensive. And when I learned about the method I'm about to show you, I was a little bit embarrassed that I haven't known that before. So let's jump back in and I show you how I do it now. So first of all, what we have here is, this is my project file where I have all the photos I uploaded to my website. And when I upload photos to my website, I'm not only uploading it in a three different sizes, I also upload it in three different crops so that when it is displayed on certain parts of the web page, the crop is correct. So if you want to have a project file just like this, the only thing you need to do is you need to go to File, Create a New File, and then select Artboards. And when you do that, you have a regular Photoshop file, but when you click on Artboard 1, you can add more photos, more artboards to your project. To export the photos in three different sizes, we go to File, Export, Export As, and this brings up this new window. And here's also the reason why I work with artboards, which are not exactly required for the exporting part, but I like to have everything at one place. So now all my nine images were loaded in here as sources that I can separately export. So I don't have to do this nine times, I do it once. All right, so let's go through this window here real quick. Uh, first of all, on the left, there are all the photos you're about to export. And again, if you, if you work with artboards, you can export multiple at the same time. So on the right, we now see the file size, the image size. Uh, my artboards are according to the image sizes that I need. But if you would have to correct that, you could correct them over here. So what I like to do is I first of all like to uh, mark all of them. So we do the settings for all of them. Then we go to file formats. In my case, I want to export them as JPEGs because they are photos, not graphics. And then I go to quality. And in my case, for my website, I usually choose fair because we still have a good quality. But as we can see on the left side here, we have small file images, which means web browsers can load those files fast. Next up, we can define what sizes we are exporting those photos with. Currently, it's set to 1x, which means original resolution. And as I said, I export it at half resolution and double the resolution. So what we do is we click on the plus sign, then we choose 0.5, which is half the resolution. And then we do it again and select two times the resolution, which is 2x. You can choose the suffix if you have a different system. For me, that works. And everything we now have to do is we have to go down to export and then we have to define where to save the photos. So Photoshop is now saving all our nine images in three different sizes. So if we go to the saved location, we now see that with just one click, we created 27 files. And sure enough, if we take a look at them, we sure see that those are the photos we specified in different resolutions. And this is how to use Photoshop and the Photoshop's export as function to export photos 
in multiple sizes with just one click. I hope this video helped. If you liked it, please consider checking out my other videos or leaving a super thanks. That would be super appreciated. I am Greeny, this is Greenbox. I hoped you learned something today and I will see you in one of those videos which are now here on the end card, which you can click now. Okay. Thanks for watching. I'm Greeny, this is Greenbox. Bye.